Good morning, I am Cecil and Blues, and this is a completion guide for the Crimson Isle. This will include the location of all journals, data cubes, challenges, as well as a few secrets. Our first four journals are located along the Savage Coast. Starting from the Chua spawn-in point, take a few steps forward and pick up your first journal, the Zax Orders. Then, head north along the coast until you reach the Tumbling Caves. Head inside, dodge telegraphs as needed, and you are looking for your second journal, which is labeled Explorer Bosbo's Boslo's Journal. Once you have collected this, leave the cave, return to the main road, and head north. Turn east, and if you go to the northeast section, as shown on the map, you will find another tumbling cave. Your journal here is to your left, and it is labeled Explorer Lozik's Log. Once you have this, Leave the cave and head south into the minefield. Here you will find your fourth journal, which is labeled Mine Deployment Instructions. Finally, if you head to the very far south of the Draken side of the Savage Coast, you will find a fifth journal entry, Warbringer's Orders. Before leaving the Savage Coast, you will want to stop off anywhere you see a spotlight. Stand in that spotlight, and a telegraph will appear. Stand in that telegraph, and you will be rewarded for your incompetence with an achievement. Setting a fantastic precedent for dungeons in the future. As you proceed through the quests in the zone, you will eventually wind up at an area filled with spiders. This is where you will find your first data cube. It is at the top of this tower. Just head up the curved ramp, and once at the top, you should see it directly in front of you. Also in this area, you will encounter your first two challenges. The first challenge is to kill spiders. Challenge begins. Your second challenge is to step on spider eggs. These two challenges cannot be active at the same time. You will need to complete one and then activate challenge manually begins. the second. While you are working on these achievements, or I'm sorry, these challenges, you will likely encounter the Spider Queen. When defeated, the Spider Queen will drop an item that will appear in your inventory, I believe as the Spider Queen's mandibles. If you click this, it will start a quest. That quest will reward you with a small amount of experience. Our next set of quests, as we progress through the zone, involves fighting the dredge. This is where you will encounter your third and final challenge. Challenge begins! Once you have killed enough dredge, you will pop up the rewards window. The rewards window for all three challenges in this zone are identical. And they are the same that you will encounter in Bronze all four away. of the starting zones. It is a four-slot bag, two basic potions, or two garbage sandwiches. Make a roll, hope for the bags, and move on with your life. Before leaving this area, head to the far east coast, swim across to a small island. You will find a quest on this island. And I'm not going to spoil what happens. 
Our next stop is going to be the Green Teleporter in the north section of the Dredge Camp. If you step through this teleporter, you will be taken to Exolab 22. In the first room of this Exolab, you will find our sixth journal labeled Dead Men Tell No Tales. Also in this room, you will find a locked door. If you are a scientist, you can hack that door with your scan bot. If you are not, you can read the journal that you just picked up, and there will be a code contained. Or you can just watch me type it in. In the second room, you will find our second data cube. You will also find a second locked door. This door requires a scientist. A scientist can hack the door panel with their scan bot and then open the door. If you are not a scientist, you will need to wait patiently for one to come along. Once inside the third room of Exolab 22, you will find the third data cube. But this data cube is located behind a force field and cannot be interacted with. Again, a scientist will need to interact with the obelisks and unlock it. If you are not a scientist, you will just need to stand by patiently and wait for them to finish solving this puzzle. This will change the panel from red to green. Click on the panel to lower the force field, and then anyone present will be able to click on the data cube. Next, in the far west of the dredge camp, you will find a hidden quest involving a chua stuffed inside this pig? Cow? I'm not sure. But it merely serves as a signpost to get you within line of sight of this giant monster, which is really what we're here for. If you kill this massive dredge, you will be rewarded with his head, which is an item that will end up in your inventory that starts a quest. The quest will reward you with a weapon appropriate for your class that contains an imbuement quest, which will uh, involve killing the final boss of the Crimson Isle. Our next hidden quest is in the north of the Megatech station. And I'm going to cut this really short because I don't want to spoil what happens. Kind of to the west, the center of the Megatech station, is our fourth data cube. And all the way to the west in the Megatech station, you will find our seventh journal. And that's the end of the zone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I will be continuing to put out exploration videos for every zone in Wildstar, as well as news coverage and coverage for other games. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.